Hi everyone, it's Nona Grace and I'm from Western New York. Today I was, it, it's the last day of my walking, but I will still continue to walk. I've been going outside and walking the drive, I walk the driveway. It's not a, not a fun walk like Pam's and like Heather's. There's this real scenic. Mine is just the same old, same old, because I would go past the house, past the barn, past the road, past the house, past the barn, past the road. <laughs> I just keep making a loop. It's 200 steps to go all the way around. But anyways, today I'm going to share my what the total is for the weeks and what the total is for the full month. But I'm still going to be walking to try to get my 5,000 steps. You know what I noticed with walking? When I first started walking, I said to Jim, man, my butt hurts. And he goes, from what? And I says, probably from walking, because I had been out of shape with not doing my walk classes. When I was doing my walk classes, that would have never, that would have never bothered me. But because I haven't been doing them for almost a year, or it has been a year, probably it's has been a year. year. Um, and when I started walking around the driveway, just the walking and then the little upcline on the one side of the driveway, because it is a hill. We've had it lowered, but it's still a hill. And that, you could feel your, your butt muscles. So if you want to tone your butts, get walking. I'm trying to get my legs now. Now that my butt is toned, I need to get the legs toned. Okay, I was. that's one thing I'm going to show you. But what I'm going to talk about, too, is I was watching Life Adventures in Keto. That's Michelle. She had in her video, she had a, uh, I'm going to put the picture in right here. Okay, now that's the picture that she kind of showed. She showed a picture and wanted to know what is this tool. And so what did I do? Well, I, I know that it's an old tool. Oh, my book is falling apart, mm -hmm. or something's falling out of it. No, it's probably, probably pages. Probably, uh, probably some of the pages. Well, mm -hmm. I went upstairs in my cabinet that I keep these old books that we found when we were ripping the house apart. And it's a book from 1904. And it's a February 1st edition of 1904. And what it is, is it's the Ross... Ross, what's that? It's fancy writing. What's that say? Ross? Ross Brothers. Brothers? Yeah. <laughs> it doesn't look like any brothers to me, but he says it is. But that's what it looks like. Let me put the camera on it. Maybe it'll catch it. I don't know. I'll hold it there in case it's, hopefully it's focusing on it. But anyways, it was in this book. And it's all water stained, as you can see, because it was in my it was in my ceiling or my walls. I don't know where we found it, which no, which no, room no. even. But um, oh, I lost the page. Lost oh page. shucks. Oh, <coughs> let me find it. It was, and I said in my comment, I said I know what it is. And I took a picture, like you saw the picture of it. You know what that is? That's a that's a stall for the cows. Stanchion. Stanchion, that's right. Let me find it again. Oh dear. This is sad. I had it marked. I had these papers in it and I pulled them out. And I had this envelope in it and I pulled it out. What a silly thing to do. But yeah, that's what it is. Oh, here it is. Okay. And it's in the book. And this is the pit, the one right. I think. Am I pointing to the one that mm -hmm. she she showed a picture that sort of looked like this, where it was kind of opened. And I, when I saw it, I looked at it and I go, hmm. It does sort of look like a saw that was broken, but it didn't have the right attachments on it. This one, it had like a steel bar, and it looked like some chains. And I'm thinking, hmm. That looks more like those stanchions we used to have in the barn when we had the cow. And you can use them for, and what it was is, like as you can see, it's to keep the cow in their spot. There's some cows in there. And you put that around their neck and it would, it would move in sometimes, close up a little bit depending, or just lock in and they couldn't pull their head back out. But that's what it, 
looks like. And what did those cost years ago? Oh, they're only a dollar twenty-five each. <laughs> <laughs> so you know it would be very expensive now. And these over here, these this is a cheaper cheaper one. You want a cheaper one? It's a dollar fifteen each. <laughs> <laughs> those are cheaper on this side. These are more expensive. This is the more expensive one. Can you believe a dollar, whatever? But you probably had to work all day, and you could get a dozen lot at a dollar fifteen for the dollar twenty-five one. So if you bought a twelve of them, you could get them for a dollar fifteen. The more expensive ones. So that's what they are. They're called Warner's Patent Chain Cattle Stanchions. Is what they are, and so that's what you have, Michelle, a stanchion. And it's really pretty nifty looking. She's got it hanging sideways instead. But if she had it hanging where the opening was on top, then that would be because it would. It's supposed to close. Is what it is. She's got it turned this way so that the opening is like. Yeah, it looks like it could have been a saw then, the way she's got it. So that's what it is, Michelle. Okay, that's done with that book. And here you can have the envelope that goes with it too. Okay, and I talked about the final steps for the walking. Oh, I forgot to bring in the finance book. I got to go get that. It's finance time. Okay. It's finance time. I got the little blue book. And this month was a very bad month. Why? Because we had to buy gas. We had to repair, repair a couple of lawnmowers and a tractor. And so there was a lot of extra bills. I bought my hair. <laughs> that was about, that was a, and then there was some post office expense. Um, Wasn't there some taxes or something? No, there? there was no taxes, no, no. insurances. There was, um, the vet fee for my dog, that was extra. Um, no, there was no taxes. For, it's pretty sad that we had this high of a bill for no taxes and no insurances in this month at all. None of that was in this. It was just a lot of tractor. Oh, there was a water bill. The water bill was bad. That's the only bill bill that was bad. The rest of them were pretty easy. But yeah, it was a pretty expensive. It was the most expensive, I think, so far. Let me check. January was was lower. No, January was higher because it had all the school taxes and it had a lot of taxes in it. January was a really terrible month. It was higher than February, higher than March, and... April is it? Oh, April was a tad higher. Oh my goodness! And um, probably income tax. May was high. Had insurance there. May June was lower. Oh boy! So there was some pretty high months. So if you've kept track, you might know what you're spending your money on. Now next year. My July should be nice and low because a lot of this stuff that's on there will not ever be again. It was only this year. Hopefully. Yeah, no, the tractor shouldn't be bad again. But this year was because of the tractors, the fixing of the tractors. The three it was three tractors. Well, two lawnmowers and a tractor. So mm. that's a lot. So that's that. And then um I have my chickens got confused. I wrote confused chickens, Emma and Dorothy. Oh, <laughs> they're so funny. That one day, well, see, Emma's supposed to have just two eggs under her, and Dorothy's supposed to have three eggs under her. Well, one day, Emma's sitting on the three eggs, and Dorothy's sitting on the two eggs. Then yesterday, Emma's sitting, or was it today? Maybe today. it was today, today earlier. I go out there to see how the girls are doing, and Emma's sitting in a whole nother nest, nest. Her two eggs are not covered. Dorothy's in her spot. She was sitting on an empty nest. So I picked her up and moved her over onto her um, eggs. Luckily, she's nice. 
And when I've been giving Blackie her her um, scratch, she I go here, yeah, chick, 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 and she kind of is. She puffs up, but she's not lunging at. She hasn't lunged at me in, twice today. I I had to give her a scratch because when the rooster gets up on the bar and crows, you hear the flapping of the wings, and then the crows up there. Then they get chicken scratch. So they got chicken scratch twice today and twice yesterday. And I had to change her water today, and I had to change her food today. And luckily, I was able to go in and get these things without her attacking me. She maybe is getting used to the fact that I'm not going to bother her, and I'm not going to bother her babies. I just need to take care of her. And then I gave her some grit, because with her not going down out of the little house, but yet she's eating, she needs some grit to grind up her food because chickens don't have teeth and I don't know if the babies eat any grit or not they maybe do they I don't know do I think they do so I put some different I put some itty bitty tiny gravelly grit in there so the babies can handle it too if they do and if not then she can have it all and Jim and I were talking about where we're going to put the two other hens when their babies hatch I have to make another maternity ward. So what we're going to do is we're going to take the rooster house, move it so that it's into the fenced area, and then I will put Dorothy and Emma in there. I'm thinking that they'll get along better in a larger space. The little where Blackie is right now is too small of a maternity ward, so we need to make them a bigger spot so that they can handle their babies. And, and the uh, Silver and Nana Mama... Oh my goodness. It's not good to have two mamas for a baby. It's like these kids that have a stepmom and a real mom. Oh, it's not good. And the same thing for the chickens. Silver is a free flying bird. She likes to get out of the fence. And what does she do? She takes all the babies out of the fence. And Rhonda, she can fly a little bit over the fence because she's gone over the fence. I've, see, I've seen her out there. I don't know how she did it. I didn't see her go when she did. And then they come back to the door to go back in. They're so funny. They, they want the door to let them in. Except today we had to move the fence to help get Silver in because the babies were with Rhonda and not with Silver. And Silver was getting very nervous. But before that, Rhonda was very nervous. They're just nervous ninnies, let me tell you. That's what the hens do. Well, that is my story for today. I hope you all had a great day, and I will talk to you all again tomorrow. So you take care, and I'll see you then. Bye-bye.